This is Judge Jerry Springer. Plaintiff Tobias Carvel says he started making big money when a video of his went viral, but his mom is spending all his internet income at the local casino. He's suing for $2,000 for loans and money he claims she stole while he was sleeping. Defendant Shonda Washington says her son is selfish and greedy, and after 18 years of supporting his laziness, she's had enough. Tobias, you, you're suing your mom? Yes, I am. Why? Because she came to me and she borrowed $2,000 from me and she never paid it back. And what started all of this was I went viral back a few months ago. You went it, viral? What was it that went viral? Well, I, it snowed back in Mississippi and I fell up on ice and so many people thought it was just so funny so I had to keep Wait, it. Wait, were you? <laughs> I fell on I'm ice. I'm laughing and I didn't even see it. You fell on ice yes. and someone had a video of you falling on the ice. Yes, things happen. Okay, what, do we have that video? Oh, we have it. I want to yes. see this because this is you coming out the door. Yes. Things happen. Yeah. Things happen. Things happen, yeah. Yes. yeah. Are you okay? Let's see it again, yeah. <laughs> well, you have rhythm. <laughs> Good for you. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Because you I popped right back up. Right. Because of that, what happened? Ever since I posted the video, it went around the world. So many people thought I was just so funny. So I went on live, you know, I started making money from all these social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and got so many followers on the platforms to the point where I made some money and I started saving up my money to buy a house. With a, a walkway that salted. Yeah, yeah, she came to me. She being your mom. Yeah, she, my mom. Who you she, love very much. Yes, I love her very much, but when it comes to money, it's a different story. Money's not more important than your mom. I mean, I'm only 18, so you the money. What? I'm only 18, the money got to come in somewhere. You've been living in my household for 18 years. I've been taking care of you. So I, therefore, yes. you shouldn't even be trying to sue me for anything. They can't yeah. keep running to me like I'm the bank. Really? <laughs> really? Specifically, you're saying you loaned your mother money. Loan her money, but how she has a gambling you, problem. Uh, how much did oh, you loan my her? my goodness. I loaned her like $1,300. But you're suing for $2,000. I'm suing for $2,000 because she, when I was asleep one night, she must have came to me and she was like, hey, I need to use your card because she had went just left gambling. So she came and, you know, I told I must have told her no. I know I said no for sure. But when I woke up, I looked at my transactions and it was $806 missing up out of my account. So yeah. I know it went on bills because I'm looking at the bills like water bills, gas bills, all types of bills. Yeah. What do you do in the household? Nothing. I mean, you can look at him. I mean, he eats up all the food. He don't buy groceries. He don't do anything. So I mean, hey. If it ain't with a gambling machine yelling and screaming, or if it ain't cars plucking and flipping all over That's the table, just something nothing I do matters for fun, to her. Just like what he okay. do for fun. But you did borrow $1,300 from I don't me. consider it's borrowing. Somehow he transferred to you $1,300. Yeah. OK. And then uh, what about the credit card? Yeah, yeah, he told me I can get it to pay a bill off it. A bill, not just multiple bills. It was really? multiple bills now, baby. Well, yeah, that's what you going to say. It's multiple bills, and you're going to holler that I'm gambling them. This, I play cards, and I go to the casino every for day, fun. Every day, every day. Just like you do your entertainment for fun, right? Right, I mean, oh, we okay. all have, you know, we all have our little addictions or whatever we have, but a gambling I addiction, no. two daughters that helps me a lot. I mean, he doesn't do anything. He always want to be under me for one, so why is he bringing me here to sue me for one? Excellent. I got him four cars. Three of them got repossessed. I mean, so, hey. Wait, wait, you bought, she bought you some yes. cars? Did you tell her ahead of time that this is a loan and you want to be paid back? When you ask to borrow money from someone, 
that means you're going to pay that person back. That is a good point. Well, when you said, can I borrow $1,300 or whatever the amount was, that means that you intend to pay him back. He should consider that how long he been living with me, how, what I, I do for him. I totally agree with you that the nice thing to do would be to just let it ride. As soon as you use the word borrow or loan me the money, the law sees that as you are saying you loan it to me and I pay you back. That's what borrowing is. Exactly. And so legally, he's in the right. But this is your mom. Exactly. I know this my mom. Who sues their mom? Their mom. Who sues their the mom? money? Like, like I said, I'm only 18 years old. So I know you're I have to be suing him. He make... puts me in his video. I never had don't a job. Pay me. Never. I know you've never, never had a job. So this is a way of I'm getting my own money. If I can go out and do my little social media entertainment, yeah. she's in a machine and cart. Well, I you tell know. you what, you want to make your own living? Well, then why don't you pay rent someplace? Exactly. I mean, I do say, hey, I'll let you, I'll give you the money to pay the rent and stuff like that, but... Oh, what, do you? How often? Yes, I do. How I either give her like $100 going towards the rent. You're saying with the credit card, he said it was okay for you to use it? I asked him, can I pay a bill? I'll but she knows okay, and what I did he clean. say from your point of view? I mean, he told me, uh-huh. He said, uh-huh. Uh-huh. He was asleep. Do you? Do I you say, uh -huh. I'm a deep sleeper, so she know I did not probably... I know I did not say no, uh-huh. Now, maybe if you ask me why Ooh. I'm up and alive and walking around yes. in flesh and stuff like that, but I'm like, when I'm asleep, I'm like dead asleep. You told me, uh-huh, so what else I supposed no. to do? No. You're only 18. Right. And you're only going to get this one mom. And what you have to think is long term. Maybe now this is say, you know, from now on, mom, I'm trying to make my own money. Unless it's an emergency, I'm not going to be able to, to give you money. Right. But this money, the amount we're talking about, is not going to change your life. But always knowing, you know, one day you may have a family, you may have kids, always knowing that you actually took your mother to court to get some money back, you're better than that. You don't need to do that. Do you think your mom would ever sue you? Yes, she will. No, I won't. Yes, she will. If, if it, that's the case, I would have been Has she ever sued soon. you? No, she no. has never. And have you ever misbehaved? Yes. 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 And, all the time. Okay. All the time. I'm just guessing. You seem like a really nice guy and fun. Your balance isn't real good, but other than that, <laughs> um, you seem like a nice guy. You really do. I'm basically asking you to withdraw this suit. I'm not going to do that. You're not going to do that? Because the money. I know. I'm only 18. I don't have a job. Well, get a job. No. Yeah, exactly. I've it's been not telling you that. Get a job. Right. Why not no. get a job? I've been telling you. Get a job. Happen. Well, it's not going to happen. She need to go get one, too. You honestly think you can go through life not getting a job? I can. Yes, I can. Oh. I can sit at home he all day. He off of his no. TikToks and Facebook and all that. That's yes, what he relies on. Your life is not going to be people always taking care of you without you going out and working for a living. Everyone else has to do it. You're not the exception. You're a nice guy. You're a funny guy. You've got some fans, but that means nothing. Exactly. You have to earn your way in this life. Mom isn't always going to be there for you. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to rule for him because legally he's right, and this is a court. But I'm telling you, more than the money you're going to get for this, the advice I'm giving you is worth a lot more. And you'd be foolish not mm -hmm. to take it. But you'll make that decision. In the meantime, $2,000 for the plaintiff. Okay. Give some good advice and stuff like that. I will take it with me for the rest of my life. But hey, you know, things happen with family, so yes, I will sue her again if she does it again. You say I owe him, I owe him so. Hey, I guess I gotta pay him his money. I think working as a TikTok star is amazing, social media influencer. I love what I do. I'm not gonna change it for nobody. Plaintiff Jacqueline Costin says she had to loan her friend of 40 years money not once, but twice. She claims that instead of paying her back, the defendant has been buying extravagant things for herself. 
Now she has no choice but to come to court and sue for $4,500. Defendant Deborah Mozzie says she took the plaintiff to the Bahamas so she shouldn't have to pay. She's countersuing for $5,000. You guys have been friends for 40 years. Wow. Yes. Well, great. And uh, that's what friends should do, sue each other. Ah! What? <laughs> money is money. And, you know, we've been hanging out. People even call us, you know, the black golden gangster girls because we're Ain't older. Ain't golden about we're me. We're black. Okay. Friendship means a lot. Sure. So does my money. First of all, she told me she lost her Social Security, I think it was. They stopped it because of some type of overpayment or whatever. And she was, she was down to a bare minimum. So I loaned her $2,500. I told her, I'm going to need that money back. You know, when your income, when they give you back your money, and your income gets back to being stable, That's I'm going to need that money back. Okay. But before that could even happen, they stopped her unemployment. Mm. When I gave her this second, you know, I was a little nervous because, like I said, I'm on a set income. And, and this was 2000 Right. So 2000. the first time was 2500 The second yeah. time was 2000 Yeah. Both so times you said... I'm going to need it I'm back. I'm going to need the money back. Did, what, she, were you specific about when? Or? No. Well, I told no. her, no, I can't say that I said Pacific. I said, when you get your income back, and then all of a sudden I see her buying microwaves, deep freezers. Uh, she going shopping. She buying new shoes. I needed stuff. I, but I needed my money. Huh. I don't know what she talking about because we're friends. Like, you say 40 years is 40 years. Yeah. That's a lot of time to deal with BS. So I do for her, she do for me. Now she's trying to harass me about this $4,500. Come on now. Well, $4,500. It's $4,500. So what that got to well, do with me? $4,500 is a lot of money. It I mean, is. It no is. matter how good a friend she is, right. it's still I, money. I get that, yeah. Judge. Yeah. Right. I get that. Obviously, okay. she don't. I'm, I'm just starting to get my business back. I'm in sales, OK? You're in sales. Right. What I do you sell? I sell everything see the popcorn. What? Now, right. she wants to stop my flow. You sell, you sell cats? I sell everything. So now she's Why she did sing. I ask that again? <laughs> so what I'm trying I to do, I'm just trying to just let it get... go. It would have just been. I'm gonna assume she's talking about cats. Yeah, you're talking about cats. Do you Meow. sell dogs too? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Listen, I'm just trying. I'm trying to get me right. Now she know I'm trying to get me right, but she wanted. She's hating on me because I'm doing other things other than what she used to, and that's not. I mean, when I get forty-five hundred dollars, she can get forty-five hundred dollars. I have $4,500. I can't tell. OK. I took her on a trip to the Bahamas. Uh, here we I go. I ain't on it. Her birthday is on the 1st of May. Yeah. Mine's on the 7th of May. Oh, well, OK. So it was her birthday, and you're It was our birthday. We went together. You're saying you went to her and say, honey, it's your birthday coming up, so I'm going to buy you a trip, and I'll pay for everything. Becky, I'm going to the Bahamas. It's our birthday. You want to go? Listen, Judge Jerry, I pay for everything. She well, was up what judge? She was well, going wait, with man, her boyfriend, man. and he canceled. So then I'm the second choice here. Oh. And, so I, and you know what? First, and you know what? Win. I didn't mind being the second choice, but he already paid for everything. Listen, and so why is she gonna try no to charge oh, me? Oh, 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 the tickets were already paid. Yes. Yeah, he didn't buy her no draws and no weed. He didn't buy her alcohol. He didn't buy that. She got a lot of nerve, Judge Jerry. She's my only friend, but I don't understand how in the hell anybody else is her friend except me. I don't understand none of that. Friends do things for friends, and right. you don't keep score. But when the amount of money is $4,500, it is reasonable, particularly if she's your friend, it is very reasonable to Jerry. suggest Judge Jerry. you should hang volunteer on, on. on your own, even if she didn't say it. You can't give me $4,500. Why I'll, would I say wait, that? Wait, I'm, I'm going to pay you back. I'm going to pay. That's what a good friend That's does. Thank you. Thank you don't you. just Tell take me. the money. I, I do. Tell I do. You do. Yeah. I mean, if you say, Deb, Deb, you come up off behind and say, Deb, here's $5,000. I'm not you coming say, up oh, behind judge you. Judge Jerry, th thank you so oh, much for that. Man. Please don't. Oh, judge, judge, you're the best judge in the world. Thank you so much for that would be my response. Thank well, you. Well, I hope you do give it to you because oh, I need no. my 45. Well. I'm doing something else with my money right now. See what I'm saying? Okay, see what I'm saying? Well, that? See, see, see what I'm saying? It's fair to me. Well, it's not to her. I and she's the one judge, bringing judge, the listen. lawsuit. I got stuff that I need to do that I still have to do. I'm still behind. So when I catch up, I'll catch her up. I have a text here. I ain't got nothing to do with that text. You wrote that uh, yourself. I have a text here. Yeah, what's the text? You, Let me hear what's the text. See what it said. It says. Yes, what does it say? Because I asked her to give me my money. This text is going to be hilarious, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee. 
No. It's going to be straight of fact. This, this was before be. she talked okay. about bringing it in. I asked her. One second, I asked her right out. I asked her right out. I know you're short on money. Yep. And I can't give you more time, but you still have to pay me. Please let me know what you plan to do. I didn't want, I don't want us to fall out over this. She said, why are you harassing me? I said I would give it to you. Hey, so, did she say it just like that in yeah. the text? That's just how she said it. She harassing me so, now. Listen, you hear Wait, that? it does, it does say her. here, it does say here, why are you harassing me? I said I'd give it to you. Right, so why is she harassing me? I said, how dare you say I'm harassing you? I gave you $2,500 when your Social Security money stopped. Then I gave you another $2,000 when your unemployment stopped. How many people would give you more money when you, you. already owe them you money? You will. Because she knows she will. If I call her now and say, Jackie, <laughs> she going to give it to me. Right, she's a good, a good friend. friend. So when she loans you money, I you want to pay it, her judge. back. I don't have it, I'm doing stuff with my money. I got stuff I got to buy for her. My entrepreneurism. <laughs> <laughs> so what? What am I supposed to do, Jack? Entrepreneurism stop, stop. is costing me forty-five hundred dollars. No, you, you need to do some more ism. You ain't sweating. Yeah. Cause I need my money. You ain't sweating that forty-five hundred dollars. You need yes, to stop. Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, I really am. You're she doing a lot of socialisms. She's not, she not sweating at 4,500. Yes, I am. Judge Jerry. Look, I'm sweating. She's not sweating at 4,500. She just want to come in here and try to make a fool out of me. But that ain't going to work. No one is making a fool out of you. I don't have $4,500. Hang on. No one's making a fool out of you. I still don't have $4,500. Uh, yeah, but you will eventually. So let me deal with your countersuit. With your I isms. have to dismiss the countersuit. Ah! It's not personal. It sounds personal. No. You know, for we, you know how much weed costs? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's gone up in price? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's like a double up now. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's why, so, it, you know, when you have weed, you get high. So I fine for the plaintiff $4,500. So what about me? What about you? No, I'm not happy with Judge Jury's verdict because I did stuff for her as well. Like I said, we're friends. She do for me, I do for her. Now she want to come in here with some BS about $4,500. I ain't on that $4,500. I don't have $4,500. But you will. It and was my turn. As soon as you get it, I'm going to need it. It was my turn. Your turn. Over with.